guys, this is Echo. I'm here filming at the beautiful Earth Lodge in Antigua, Guatemala. It's a nice cloudy day here and perfect for a little bit of movement and slowing things down. So today we'll do quite a fluid movement practice, um, close to the ground, a little bit of upward energy, but mostly just kind of connecting with the breath and really connecting with the breath body connection. So. Take it nice and slow today. This is all levels, so beginners as well as advanced yogis can join us on the yoga mat. And we'll begin in a seated position in Sukhasana, so find a comfortable seat. All right, guys, so come into a seat. You can let go of any props if you have it. Just sit up in Sukhasana. Take a nice long spine, and you can softly shut the eyes down if you feel comfy. And just allow the head to fall over towards the right shoulder. So not forcing it down, just letting it lean over. And turn the chin towards the right knee, so down towards the ground. And bring the chin through center, left ear to left shoulder, get some length. And right ear to right shoulder. And just begin to find some natural neck rolls. And we just begin to introduce some energy into the body. And perfect practice if you're waking up quite stiff or it's a cold morning, just allowing some free movement to wake in the joints. Move in the opposite direction so the chest and shoulders might get involved a bit. And come back up to neutral. And take an inhale. You can open your eyes. Reach the arms up. Exhale. Twist to the right. Right hand down behind you. Left hand on the right knee. So nice open chest towards the right. And keep the left hand on the right knee. And just lean the left shoulder to the left knee, right arm stretching up and overhead. Bring right hand to the back of the head and open the heart space to the right. Open the chest. So slight pressure of the head back into the right palm, right palm into the head. Nice open heart. And inhale, reach up through center, both arms. And exhale, twist over to the left, right hand on the left knee, left hand down behind you. Nice open chest. And really twisting from the belly here, not at the neck. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale, lean the right shoulder to the right knee. Left hand reaches up and over and bring the right hand to the back of the head. Open the heart space, twist open. Inhale, back through center, reach up. And exhale, hands down to the knees. Go ahead and bend the knees, plant the feet. And the feet are going to be about hip-width distance apart. Bring the hands to the inside of the feet. Left hand stays to the inside of the left foot. Right arm stretches up. Open the chest. And keep the left arm pressing into the left knee, opening up the chest a little bit more. So acting as a lever to open the heart space. Bring the right hand down to the inside of the right foot, left arm stretching up, and use the right arm as a lever to open the chest.
and bring the left hand down. Bring both feet together and creating a little diamond shape here. So the further the feet are apart, or the further the feet are from the hips, the more we're gonna get a stretch on the outside of the leg, so into the stomach meridian. The closer the heels are towards the groin, the closer we're gonna get to the inner thighs, which is the spleen meridian. So just choose which feels best for you. Take a hold of the big toes, inhale, open the chest, and exhale, slowly begin to fold forward. So you can use the elbows to press the thighs down and open. Let the head hang here just a bit, but try not to round the upper back. So you can still keep the neck engaged, the upper back muscles engaged, and just folding with a flat back. Slowly peel the chest up. Bring the hands back behind you, fingers tracking back. And take an inhale, open the heart space. And exhale, round the upper back, chin to chest. Inhale, open the heart. Shoulders down the back. Let the head drop back. Exhale, round chin to chest, rounding the upper back. Inhale, forward and open. And exhale, round in. Inhale, and exhale. This time come back to center. Plant both feet hip width distance apart. Keep the hands back behind you again, and then just let the knees drop over to the right. Open the chest, look to the left. Breathe here. And come back through center, knees drop to the left. Head turns to the right, press the chest forward and open. And come back to center. Cross at the ankles, come on to the hands and knees and come into tabletop position. So coming into that tabletop position, Wrist directly underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Take an inhale, allow the belly to drop, look forward and up. And exhale, round the spine, chin to chest, slight bending of the elbows until you lengthen. Inhale. And exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Come back to a neutral tabletop. Bring the knees together and wrap the right knee around the left knee. Create some space between the heels and sit back. So we sit back. The knees are trying to stack on top of one another. If they're not perfectly on top of one another, don't worry about it. But take a nice inhale, peel the chest up. And exhale, slowly walk the chest forward. Come onto the fingertips, maybe folding down deeper. So if you can't fold all the way down, don't worry. Try to keep the back straight, create some space, and then fold down. Peel the chest up. Bring the left arm underneath the right, palms together. Bring the elbows in line with the shoulders. And take an inhale, bring the elbows up, look up, back bend. Exhale, pull the elbows into the belly, rounding the upper back. Inhale, back bend. And exhale, round in. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Unwrap the arms, come up onto the palms and the knees. Unwrap the right knee, set it down by the left, and then bring the left knee around the right, create some space between the heels, and slowly sit back, stacking the knees. Heel the chest up. 
And on the exhale, slowly walk the chest forward, come onto the fingertips, folding down. On every exhale, fold a little bit deeper. Try to straighten out the spine. And peel the chest up. Take the right arm underneath the left, palms together. Take an inhale, peel the chest up into a back bend. And exhale, round into a fold. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, hands to the floor. Rock forward on to the knees and uncross the legs, tabletop position. And just send the right foot back behind you. Tuck the right toes under, press the heels back. So we want to get a nice length into the back of the right leg. Take some breaths here. Slowly begin to stack the right hip on top of the left by bringing the left foot out behind you. Right arm stretching up. As the right arm stretches up, inhale, reach it forward overhead, find some length through the right side body. Can either look up or down towards the left hand, find length through the right side. So a little bit of core here. Take an inhale and an exhale. Bring the knee towards the elbow, curl in. Inhale, lengthen out, the foot barely hovers. Exhale, curl in, elbow to knee. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Twice more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Bring the right hand down, left knee down. And bring the left foot back behind you. Tuck the toes under. Get a nice length through the back of the left leg. Press back here. A couple of breaths. Slowly stack the left hip on top of the right as the right foot swings back behind you. Left arm stretches up and left arm then stretches forward overhead. Find length through the left side body. Take an inhale. On an exhale, lift the left leg up, pull elbow and knee together. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale, curl in, bring the left hand down, bring the knees wide, sit back into the heels, stretch the arms forward, child's pose. And slowly peel the chest up. Bring the hands back towards the knees. And bring the knees together. Take an inhale. Come up to standing on the knees. I feel like my hair is everywhere today. <laughs> Tuck the toes under. And you're going to just sit back onto the heels. Just make sure the pinky toes are tucked under as well. Sit back. And just allow that fire to come up here. <clears throat> so we might feel some heat coming into the ankles, across the front of the shins. 
You can find a focal point forward or you can shut the eyes down. Three more breaths here statically. And take an inhale, reach the arms up, come up to standing on the knees. Exhale, sit back onto the heels, cactus the arms, open the heart. Inhale, reach and lengthen. And exhale, sit back and open. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And on the exhale, bring hands to the lower back, fingers coming around the hips or tracking down the back. Take an inhale, open the chest, bring the shoulders down the back. Exhale, slight back bend. The head can look up and back. Keep the chest moving upward here. Try not to push the hips too far forward. And if it feels okay, hands come down to the heels. Maybe the head stays looking up or you drop the head back. Slowly peel the chest up, hands back towards the hips. Untuck the toes, sit back onto the heels. Come forward onto the hands and just tap the toes out. So you might have a little bit of heat here. Let the knees go wide, sink back towards the heels, and we end in child's pose. So stretching the arms out in front of you, bring your forehead to the earth. can keep the arms active by pressing the palms into the floor, forearms slightly lifted, and just allow the head to relax here. And allow the elbows to softly touch down on the earth. Take a nice big sigh. And staying here for as long as you need. Always taking time to readjust. When you're ready, we'll slowly make our way up to a cross-legged seat, Sukhasana. And bring the hands to heart center. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Bowing head to heart. And grateful for our body working with us today, we say namaste. And thank you guys uh, for joining me today in our practice. If you want to join me again in the future, you can find my practices at youtube.com backslash echo G-I-E-S-E-L-W-I-D-M-E-R, Echo Giselle Widmer. Or you can head over to my website, which is www.echoflowyoga.com to find about retreats and trainings around the world. And yeah, adventures at echo underscore around the world on Instagram. So I'd love to see you guys somewhere on your yoga mat, somewhere real in the 3D world one day. But if not, keep on practicing and flowing and find your own fluid nature.